Hey, it's Aurelius, hope you're doing well. In this video, you'll learn how to make a cool and professional flip book like the one you're looking at right here. When a reader reads your book, they can turn the page by simply tapping the edge or the corner of the book, and it's got this cool page turning effect, and each time they turn the page, it makes it more interactive, more fun uh, to read, and what's more is you can add videos or multimedia so they can play it right on the page without leaving your flipbook. So let's discuss it, we'll dive deeper and I'll show you how to make one like this. First things first, you're going to wanna to create your ebook and the best tool for it is none other than Canva. So head over to Canva. If you don't have an account, look in the description box below for a link to it where there's also a 30 day trial of Canva Pro. Now in this video, I'm not going to show you step-by-step -step how to make the actual ebook because I've got a ton of videos that show you how to do it in Canva. I'll link them all up in the description box below. So create your ebook. Once you've done that, head back to the Canva design, uh, which is where your ebook is. Here's my example. I've got a range of different layouts. Now, if you do wanna add interactive items or uh, multimedia such as a YouTube videos or a video, you're going, you're going to wanna put a placeholder, let's say, in this section here, or you can add a new page, which is what I've done intentionally, so we can go and add it in. But once you've completed your ebook in Canva, head over to share, then click on more, and then scroll down until you see hazing flipbooks. If you're using Hazing for the first time, you're going to want to connect it with Canva, but don't sweat because it is very easy to do. I'm logged into my other Canva account because I need to show you what it looks like. So going to share, go to more, scroll down till you see the uh, Hazing Flipbooks uh, app, and then it should show this. Simply click on use, and then now it is connected. Okay, so because we don't have anything, that's why there's this error. But let's go back to our design. All right, we're back with my original design, and now I'm going to click on Hazing Flipbooks. Select the pages that you want, making sure you select all of them if you want all of the pages included in your flipbook, and then click on Done. Click on Save. It's preparing your design. Now this next part is important because you're going to wanna to click on view in Hazing Flipbook. So we'll click that once. And now it says your flipbook is being processed. Depending on how many pages you have, that'll determine how long it'll actually take. All right, and voila, there it is. Now I did edit this previously and there is a custom background here, but if you do want further customization options, just look on the left and there's a ton of options right here. We've got title, page effect. So if you do want to change the page effect to a different effect, then select from one of these. Changing the background is really easy. Click on background and then selecting from one of these options or you can upload one from your computer. Simply drag and drop it right here. But I'm going to stick with this one here. Now for the most part, Hazen is free, but there are some limitations such as this logo on the corner. If you do want to get that removed, you want to make sure you go to logo and either buy packs or subscribe. So it is a paid option, but readers will see this and that's the kind of downside. But it is free, so I can't really complain. However, there's no watermark on the actual ebook, so readers can actually read it uh, without distraction. Furthermore, with a free Hazine Flipbooks account, you can only create up to five flipbooks, which may be more than enough for you. Next, let me show you how to add interaction, such as a YouTube video, to your flipbook. In my case, I've added a blank page to the very end of this flipbook, as you can see. If you look on the left, you can see interactions. You can add a link, an image, video, audio, or web. I'm going to add a YouTube video. So what I'm going to do is add a video. Your cursor will turn into a crosshair, and all you need to do is just drag where you want the video, let's say right here, and then this pop-up will appear. All you need to do now is grab that YouTube video link and paste it in right here. Then you choose a type which it's auto detected. There are some player options as well. You can also adjust the area that you initially selected so that you've got none of that black space. That looks good there. What you're going to wanna do is click on save once you've made those changes. Next, to share your flipbook with others, all you need to do is click on share. You've got this unique link. And of course, some other ways to share your flipbook, such as email, you can also embed it to the web, social, download it, or QR code. But now I've opened it up on a new tab, you can see, and let's go through the book. And uh, this is what it looks like. This video plays, as you saw in the intro. One thing that may have come to mind is, can you save your flipbook as a PDF document and then share it like that? Well, the answer is yes and no. You can save it as a PDF document by clicking on this cloud or download button, and then it will save it as a PDF. But 
The thing that won't happen is the interactivity and the effects like the page turning effect or the YouTube videos. So here's a PDF document. You can see it's simply a document. There's no interaction. If I go down to the last page, there's nothing there. So again, you can save it as a PDF, but you will lose those effects such as the page turning effect and any effects that you've added or interactions in Hazine. So if you want your flipbook to actually look like a flipbook, then make sure you go to share and then use the reader link right here. All right, guys, and that's how to create a flipbook quickly and easily using Canva and Hazine flipbooks. If you found this video helpful, by all means, give this video a quick thumbs up and just stick around to watch these next relevant videos right here.